something that the day then this coming really on the fire trust me 100 percent i know that so um yeah big up all of the man them all love for drink punch and all them stuff there and lick a bit of drink and all them stuff there so yeah this is a drink which you need to try and make at home all right yeah 100 percent guys i have to so yeah you know what i mean so if you're at home and you feel bored then this is a drink where you want to try all right 100 percent all right no but facebook audience sorry about uh, one and over there we got the facebook audience at the moment we, we love you guys but we have to get things working the right way all right so what we're gonna do we're gonna kick off it now and it's not a long it's a rough about 10 minutes what i video clipping this all right so we start the show right now all right so it's a beautiful one so basically as i said it's a punch where if you're lazy and you know what i mean you just decide to go there at your home or you chill out in the back garden couple of your friend them check your father's there come up and all them stuff there pick up the father them so this is a drink where definitely you want to make all right so basically if you're in the following of chef ricardo you will see how i make it so what we're gonna do we're gonna put some oats inside of the blender like this so we are putting the oats because the oats is dry that's the first thing we're putting like roughly about how much oats that roughly about quarter cups of oats inside of the blender all right that's the first thing we want to do so if you're a person who are interested in drinking them a kind of drink this coming really handy for you all right then secondly we got some jamaican dragon stout which we're going to be using so we're going to put some dragon stout inside of it just like this as you can get to free up the blender all right beautiful one yeah so roughly about quarter cups of jug and stout we are using inside of it if you do not like alcohol you don't have to put the alcohol inside of it all right you can just use some other ingredients which i'm going to be using inside of it all right but if you are drink don't drink and drive all right we're going to put just a pinch of the jamaican white rum inside of it all right all good rare navy all white rain of a white rum right we just put a little bit inside of it all right so that's that's looking good not much rum I put inside of it and then secondly i'm going to be using some of the caribbean fusion spice mix we're going to put a little pinch of it inside of it not much so that, as i said if you're a man who want to make this at home chill out and you know what i mean you want to make something totally this coming handy for you all right then secondly we got some vanilla essence we're gonna put some vanilla essence inside of it roughly about a teaspoon half teaspoon not much we got some vanilla we're gonna put some vanilla inside of it roughly about a teaspoon of vanilla wicked man so it's a recipe where definitely guys if you want to try something at home this come in and if i have 100 percent my all right 100 percent this coming and the fire now we're going to put some sweet condensed milk inside of it roughly about two tablespoon of sweet condensed milk and that's eye measurement right there all right we're using the eye to measure it all right yeah wicked yeah man then we got some nutriment i'm using the vanilla flavor right here we're gonna put roughly about quarter cups inside of it all right so this is what we used to make um give it sponge all right so what we're going to do we're going to blend up this a little bit just to get it free up the blender a little bit then we're going to add some more ingredients all right yeah make sure everything all right so we're going to blend this about two to three seconds one yeah man then we're gonna take it out and have a look at it all right secondly what we're gonna need to do is put a finger of ripe banana full of vitamin you know what i mean yeah you have to you have to put some ripe banana inside of it let's i think a little bit too much of the liquid so what we're gonna do we're gonna just pour it a little bit of the liquid yeah perfect yeah right banana 
inside of it. Um, once I put the right banana, we're gonna put a little bit more oats. Just a little bit more oats inside of it, all right? Not much. Yeah. Now, guys, I couldn't even throw this in the bin after, in the sink after drink this. Trust me. Mm. Ah, that is amazing. All right, let's blend up this now. All right, we're gonna blend this. So I look now guys because it's supposed to have a little bit of thickness to it you know oh that's still a little bit running hold on let's take off a little bit more of the liquid because it's not supposed to be runny runny it's supposed to have some thickness to it all right but yeah me know this is a punch where if you're at home you have to make this 100 percent guys all right any of you at home you want to make this one because this one is just a recipe of you know you want to try but let me see what i want Mm, not too bad could be better this is how I look yeah mm. yeah yeah it's nice look 100% nice yeah yeah so right now if you're looking a little bit of extra strength to your body and all them things there and all them stuff there so this is a, a drink which you want to try all right so you have some man lazy, you know, you need to build up yourself and build up your immune system. This come in handy for you, all right? Yeah, so, all right. So what we're going to do, we're going to put another finger of ripe banana inside of it, all right? One more fingers of ripe banana. So all of the man, them who lazy, fathers, they are come up and all them stuff there, you know what I mean? This come in really handy for you. Let's blend up this. All right. This recipe here is a recipe where you have to. You want to try and try this one at home, guys. All right. Beautiful one. Let's blend up this. much better yeah this looking much better look at this see this is exactly what you want to see you see that thickness are not running all right so we got oats mm -hmm. that's much better 100 percent that much better perfect yes chef andrew big up yourself this is what you need for make at home all right so you know yeah if the if you are home and you feel like you want to make something a little bit of energy, then this come in really handy for you, alright? But please don't do any damage, alright? Please, guys, keep yourself calm. Alright, now look at this. Ah, this is exactly what we are talking about. But this is a drink. You don't want to make it and put it down. You can make it and put it in your fridge and make it get proper chill 
and then you drink it, you know what I mean? If you, you say your friend them come and check you, you want to make something like this. And yeah, your friend them can just, yeah, have this one. Look at that, guys. This is what I talk about. This is exactly what I talk about. Look at the thickness of it. You understand? Not too thick, not too runny. It is just right in between. You see? Look at the spoon. Watch the spoon. The spoon you're watching now, guys. You know what I mean? 100%. This is amazing. Trust me. Anyway. It is perfect. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Mm -hmm. So, as I say, if you have cool and you know what I mean, you feel like you want to do something, then this come in really handy for you. 100%. Alright? So, please share the video and tell a friend. Tell a friend, tell a friend. Because we have a lot more recipe coming up. Alright? Now, we have another one which I want to share with you. Because this is a long time I want to share this kind of punch recipe with you. And uh, I, dis I decided to do it today. Because, you know, it's coming up to Father's Day very soon. And, you know what I mean, the Father them need to start themselves out with something. You know what I mean? Just don't do any damage at home. Keep on yourself calm. Alright? But, if you're a person who I get prepare your body and all them things, then I summer, I get ready for summer, then this is for you. Alright? Once you try to get yourself ready for summer, this I drink that is for you. Alright? Yeah. You know, this summer, a lot of people like to go to the park and run. And a lot, a lot of people like to do a little bit of exercise and go to the gym and all them stuff there. Then this come in really handy for you. Alright, guys? So here how it goes. I want you to make this one at home. Alright? So first of all, again, we're going to go in with some oats. Alright? Oats, very good for you. Alright? Here we're going with some oats. Alright? A little bit of oats. And then again, we're going to chuck some more of your favorite inside of it. Right, banana. Alright. So, if you have a person who at home and feel like, oh yeah, very, very good drink this one, guys. I want you to try this one at home, alright? And honestly, you will see exactly what Chef Ricardo is talking about. Alright? Yeah. Um, I definitely have to give you this recipe because this is a recipe where it's not normal. Yeah, not a normal recipe, guys. Yeah, this is not a normal recipe, alright? Yeah, and I want you to try this one at, at home. If you're at home and you feel like I'm just getting one egg yolk. Yeah. Yeah, one egg yolk. All right. So basically, all right. This is what you want. You want to put an egg yolk inside of it like that. All right. So if you're at home and you feel like you want to make something different, then this come in really handy for you. Alright? If you don't like egg yolk, you don't have to put egg yolk in it. But I'm just saying, it's good to put an egg yolk. Because egg yolk, a lot of people doesn't know. That's a protein. Alright? But as I say, you don't have to put egg yolk if you don't like egg yolk. You know what I mean? Yeah. So far we put one in there. We're just gonna drop another one inside of it, cause you know what I mean egg yolk is good for you. You don't have to put egg yolk, alright? As I said, yeah. 100 percent guys, you don't need to put egg yolk. You know. But it's a it's a beautiful recipe. And you know, as I said, you can try it at all. And you will see.
100% you can try this one at home. Alright, now I got a little bit of the nutriment left here where this is a vanilla flavor. I'm gonna put this inside of it. Alright. And we got some sweet condensed milk. I'm gonna put roughly about two tablespoons inside of it. Alright. Yeah man. Yeah, look at that. Beautiful and an amazing. Then we got some vanilla. And we got some of the Caribbean spice mix right here. When you always hear me talk about the Caribbean fusion sauce and spice mix, it's the best. Put a little bit inside of it. It's high measurement, guys. And what we're going to do now, we're going to blend it. This is like extra power, extra energy. All right, if you got some molasses, trust me, you can put some molasses inside of it. Do your research. Who said that? Those raw egg is not good for you. Alright. Did someone say those raw egg doesn't good for you? It's better you don't say anything, guys. Honestly. Because if you're going to come and say those raw egg is not good for you, well, you need to re do your research. Do some research and come back and you talk. You know what I mean? You just don't jump into the conclusion and talk. You do your research first and see what raw egg yolk is good for you. Alright? Not the raw egg. The egg yolk. Alright guys? If you go to school and you're an intelligent person and you know certain kind of research, you don't talk those kind of way. Alright? Okay? Hey, Jamaica recipe queen. Big up yourself. Alright. The question about raw egg yolk. Alright? Where well, a lot of people doesn't know. Raw egg yolk have a lot of... You can't eat too much of raw egg yolk. That's the first thing you want to do. It's not something you're going to eat every day. Because you have to be careful. All right? Too much raw egg yolk doesn't good for you. All right? If you're eating egg yolk, like say, two or three times for every six, week, every six week or every four week, you do it into a punch or... You do it into a, some kind of smoothie where you want to do if you're a person going to the gym, doing a lot of exercise and all them stuff there. Then you can talk to me. But if you're going to say, those raw eggs doesn't good for you, then you doesn't know nothing. You, I think you need to just do a little bit of research and come back and then you can write and share for a YouTube channel. Do not twist my audience then. All right, because I think you need to do some more research right there. All right. All right. All my days. Ah, sad. <laughs> I'm going right now in this video here in the field. Uh, Chef Anjo, big up yourself. All right. Raw egg. A lot of people doesn't know. You can have raw egg into a punch or a, some kind of smoothie where you want to make at home. If you're going to the gym, doing a lot of exercise and doing a lot of bits and pieces. All right. You can have a raw egg yolk and then because you're going to burn it out. But when you're going to come and say, <laughs> those raw egg doesn't good for you. I think... I think you need to do a little bit of research, young man, or uh, young lady, or whatever. <laughs> you need to go back to the, 
to the university and do a little bit of research. Do a little bit of research and come back and write in the description with my audience them can see exactly what's going on. All right? Yeah. Only Jamaican. Uh, for that part, no, copycat. <laughs> copycat. Copycat. Chef Andrew, uh, I am growing up and see my brother put raw egg in their punch. Of course. Yeah. Thousands, millions of people all over the world do this. He's joker. He's going to say those raw egg doesn't good for you. I think you need to do some research. You got people every morning, and that's because some people overdo it every morning when they get up, then put a raw egg in their punch. You know what I mean? You don't want to do it every morning. Yeah, but I think you need to, when you're going to say, hi, chef, I think, hi, Rob, Rob, what's going on, man? Big up yourself. Thank you so much. I think when you're going to say, um, raw egg doesn't good for your all stuff there, you're confusing my audience. Don't do that. You understand? Because Chef Ricardo don't preach something we don't know about. I preach what I know about. All right? Something which I've been doing. You know what I mean? I come see my old man doing raw egg for many years and not never doing. All right? A lot of people use it in their protein, for protein. All right? So, come on, guys. Anyway, here it is. You know what I mean? Is that This one is a very damaged recipe. All right? You have to be careful when you drink this. Because it's powerful. All right? Here it is. You got, you got raw egg in it. Oats, nutriment, and you can put our guineas in it. A lot of stuff you can put inside of this one. But this one, you just want to keep it very simple. All right? Especially this coming up to Father's Day. You want to do this on Father's Day. You know what I mean? Yeah. Father's Day, you're good to go with this drink. Yeah, yeah man. Um, The first, <laughs> well, that first recipe got already, you know. Yeah, the first recipe got already. You have to watch back the video. Because that one that was this here it is. This is the first recipe right here, guys. That one is a bad one. Alright? But the one with the raw egg is just like if you're going to the gym and you're doing a lot of exercise and you know what I mean, doing a few bits and pieces in the gym, then you need to drink this. You need to drink the raw egg one. You know what I mean? You come home and you know say boy, your missus I'll make out that one feel. You're gonna say tank her, you know what I mean? Like Jamaica recipe queen you now, she loves to drink um, the punch. Alright, so definitely <laughs> the Jamaica recipe queen will just work with that. Yeah man, um Yeah yeah but I'll tell you something guys Nothing wrong if you're making a punch at home you're making it for yourself because you know you don't wanna go out on the street and you're gonna buy somebody make punch and put raw egg in that you don't do that if you're at home and you're making it for yourself you chuck a raw egg in your punch in the morning early and you blend up some oats and banana and all them stuff there with some you can put on some molasses in it and then you drink it you know understand you build up you build up your immune system and boots up your body and all them stuff there all right so that's a recipe for you right there but this one now is just like a damaged recipe guys you know what i mean if your friend them come check you and you're there home and relax and all them thing there you know what i mean in the backyard now you know what i mean probably a smoke or something and um you do a sort of rubbish run at the back then, you want to drink something like this. Alright? Because some men like to hang out like that. You understand? Then we drink our one roots. And our one punch. And all them stuff there. Now, this one. If you're going to the gym. Alright? If you're going to the gym, you want to try this one. Alright? This is like, you go to the gym tomorrow morning. You wake up in the morning. You get your little blender. You get your banana. Your oats. Your egg. And your, um, your egg yolk. And you get some... You know what I mean? You can get some van, some 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 spice and put in it and some you know what I mean you can put a little bit of uh, so um yeah a few bits and pieces you can put in it. All the past stuff you can go in it, you know what I mean? And then you go to the gym and you can work out, you come back in, you have a fresh. That's is all about them kind of drinker guys. But if you know what I mean, I don't want someone to come on and twist in my audience. Alright? Because I have to look after my audience, cause Chef Ricardo know what I'm talking about. Oh, it was a question. Oh. I didn't know, sorry then, if it was a question, but it was the way you're asking the question, I should have said it. I, Chef Ricardo, is raw egg is good for you? <laughs> yeah, no. Is those raw, is those raw egg is... But you said, I, you, is if your question is said, is not good for you. Is not good for you, all right? If you're a person who at home, working out, you know what I mean? 
you wake up in the morning 5 30 and you know say so you're gonna go to the gym a lot of a lot of person who go to the gym like some big thick man and you know, see them most times you see them get their egg yolk and then blend up it with oats and banana and a lot more stuff all right guys you have to know these things you know you understand but probably you doesn't know that because you're not going to the gym if you're going to the gym and you're dealing with certain people who doing this like one of my barber friend when i go to his shop the first thing he will do before he start to cut his hair or do anything he will get two egg yolk blend it up and you know what i mean a lot more stuff and put it into it with some honey and all them stuff then blend it and drink it just like that some people have the egg yolk on its own but you're not going to be overdoing it too much because it's too much egg yolk not good for you you're not going to get up every day and I drink egg yolk, egg yolk, egg yolk. No, that's red flag. You understand? But anyway, guys, we're not gonna go into it. But um, do your some do yourself some research on that one, alright? And see where you are. That's all, right? That's all, that's one sort out. Egg yolk. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. So, Jamaica recipe queen. I need a recipe for the sweet pepper cake. You know what I mean? It's taking too long for setting up the sweet pepper cake recipe. Alright, but this is a recipe, guys, and all of these recipes are just something where you can do at home. 100% and it will come out delicious. Trust me. Alright. Yeah, 100% these recipes just like some top recipe. Alright. Um, but big up yourself again. We'll come back for the show with one more video. And it just was a requested recipe for one of my audience. And I have the ingredients and I decide to do it. So this one, I'm telling you, be careful of this one. You don't want to drink this one too much because you don't want to have too much baby around you. Alright. So you have to be careful. See how you this one you have to be careful also too because yeah do a lot of damage all right guys beautiful drink and you know what i mean i know definitely you guys will you know what i mean enjoy this one because you know it's some new recipes and new ideas we have all a beetroot recipe coming up also for you you can make some beetroot juice it's coming up to father's day we know mother's day is next month and then father's day so basically on father's day i think you know what i mean the missus them need to go into the kitchen and get themselves busy Jamaica recipe queen, get yourself busy in the kitchen, guys. Come up to Father's Day and all them stuff there. But, pick up yourself and, you know what I mean? Yeah, shout out to the chef. Got the chef know exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> all right, big up the chef. Thank you so much for coming on the chef. Chin B, Chef Ricardo, it is cool. Uh, yeah, yeah, natural. Oh, what's, what's up? Everything is good, all right? Yeah. Yeah, man. But as I said, guys, if not, nothing wrong if you're making yourself a punch and you can, you know what I mean, chuck a raw egg in it, all right? Everything is good. You know what I mean? You, don't, you just don't want to drink it every day. You know what I mean? Like, no one then you can have a punch, all right, with a raw egg, all right? Thank you so much, guys, for watching the show. Because we know we always come with some of the best recipe. And we always try our best to support the audience to make you guys happy at home, all right? As you can see it for yourself. Here it is. Beautiful.